Now, one of the crises on the continent that's likely to be discussed at the upcoming African Union summit is that of Libya. People in the country are still awaiting the formation of a unity government. For months now, the two rival governments have been in talks. CCTV's Adel Mahuri has more on that story. On January 19th, the UN-backed Libyan Presidential Council announced the formation of a 32-member cabinet. The world hailed the formation of the government of national accord. If it succeeds, it will be a dream come true. Stability in Libya will be realized. ISIL will perhaps be on its last legs, and for Europe, it will be music to the ears as the migrants' tide will be stemmed. The regional pan-Arab organization is hopeful. There is great hope that the unity government will be capable of performing its work and succeed in its mission. Supporting this government is now the main demand to restore stability to Libya. Its formation is critical to complete the UN's vision to resolve this conflict and end the destruction caused by its internal strife. The newly formed cabinet must first be endorsed by the two warring parliaments of Libya. Egypt and influential neighbors to Libya are coordinating to make that happen. The situation in Libya is complicated and disrupted. We are working with the neighboring countries and international partners to resolve this crisis. We hope the unity government will succeed. We are exerting all the efforts to reach that point. It all depends on the aspirations of the Libyan people. But this government must be supported so that it can perform the tasks needed. In the West, Tripoli's faction Libya Dawn said the presidential council violated military law and members of the Eastern Internationally Recognized Parliament, including its speaker, have already signaled their opposition. Recognition from Libyan factions is the first major obstacle ahead the unity government. But will a year of UN mediation finally pay off? On Monday, Tobruk's parliament will convene to answer that question. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.